Hello everyone, so, uh, as you can probably tell by the start of this video, I have my mic fixed, I have my mic fixed, it is very good. Um, and if you've read the title, you'll know today we are doing a 1.17 update features tier list. So, as you can see here, we have a tier list, we have S for the very best, we have A for the, the good, B, eh, medium, medium high, C, medium low, D, trash and f uh, we don't speak of you i hope i don't have to use the f tier i probably will so <coughs> uh, without wasting any of your time we're just gonna start so amethyst now i have a bit mixed feelings with amethyst i think amethyst it's good for the things you can craft like spyglass and things but i didn't really see the need to add it it's it's i was i was perfectly content with the ores you already have and i felt like I, f I feel like the more complex minecraft gets the less minecrafty it is gone off in a bit of a rant there but you know what i mean i think for me i'm probably gonna have to put this in c tier but feel free to use your own thing and you, your own tier list and you can correct what you think needs to be corrected Tough goes in D tier. It, it's tough. There's there's nothing to it. It's tough. It adds. It, it, uh, I, I wouldn't put it in F because it adds to the KV sort of environment. But still, it's pretty shite. So I would put it in the D tier. Because it's it's not really it's 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 not really good block. Right. I actually really like these. Um, the dripstone because. It, it definitely adds to the KV environment, uh, which is what I said with the drip, the tough. And I really like the feature that you can die if you stand on it or jump on it or whatever it is. And it's just, it's just so good. I love it. I love it. I would put it in S tier if it like had, if you can craft it and use it as decoration. If you could craft stuff with it and things. And then we have the axolotl now we all like axolotls don't lie s tier it's it's got to be the best thing in the 1.17 update i mean there's there's really nothing else to say about it you guys you've got everything you could want it can attack it looks cute it it's got tons of different variations and it can it's it's it can put, be put in a bucket you can carry around with you unlike with a dog where you lose them if you fly with your elytras and things s tier amazing Copper B tier. Now it's 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 only got like three uses, okay? You've got copper blocks, you've got spy glasses, and you've got I don't know, it's only two uses. It's a bit it's 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 a cool block. I like it. It's nice to build with and I like the aging thing. Um but it's pr it's pretty cool, but I wouldn't put it in A tier because there's nothing really you can do with it. And it's just a bit bad, in my opinion. Dripstone, not dripstone, we already did dripstone. This is... Um, grimestone, that's the one. Grimestone, uh, my brain just shut down there. <coughs> so, grimestone, I think this can probably go in B tier with copper, because it's got a lot of the same features as copper sort of it's got a lot of things you can do with it it's got a lot of variations of the block like stairs blocks slabs and everything but it's also not very useful there's nothing to craft with it there's no items to craft with it but it, i i think it's a really nice block adds to the kv environment i've said that like four times in the video already i don't care it adds to the kv environment it's very nice uh, i would put it in b tier because as I said, there's nothing to do with it, nothing to craft, nothing to do. B tier. Goat. This is a bit of a difficult one. I would not put the goat in B, C, or D, or F. But I, I, I don't know if to put it in S or into A. It's, 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 it's really nice. And I think, I think I might put it in A because... It's, unless, if we're talking about Bedrock Edition, 
I would probably put it in S because of the horns and you can blow them and it sounds pretty cool. But in Java, um, you've got ghost goats. They look pretty cool. I like the design of the goats. Uh, they live in the mountains. They're a pretty rare creature as well. This, they're pretty cool, but I don't think they're deserving of quite S tier because there's not much drops you can get from them, but I quite like the variations, such as the mad goat and things, or whatever they're called. <sighs> what should I do with the drip leaf? I'm not so sure. I think I might put it in C tier. It's... I, I like the mechanics of it. I like the design and the mechanics of it, where you stand on it and it you've got a certain amount of weight and time you can stand on it, otherwise it'll tip down. But it's not very, it's not very, other than that, you can't get like dripstone, the dripstone leaves or anything, or your dripstone, you can't get the drip, drip leaf leaves or anything, but I think it is a pretty cool thing. I, th I like, I definitely like the design of all the new 1.17 things, um, but it's pretty cool, yes. Glow Lichen. This is D tier rubbish. I hate it. It's not very good. It's got. It's it's good for people who play with moody brightness and brightness like that, but for people like me who play with just one hundred percent brightness, it's not very good because you can you can already you can. You can do a lot of things without it, such as just walking in caves. You'll need torches, you definitely need torches and things, but it's still not very useful, If, if especially if you don't have torches. It can be quite useful, which is why I'm not putting in F. But it's not the most useful for people playing on full brains, and I reckon Mojang should fix that. So it's that caves darker when you're in full brightness because it's a bit stupid at the minute glow squids i think go in b tier um they've got a lot of good things about them you can get the s glow ink, ink sacks which can be used for things you've got the glow squids in general i think they're a really cool mob i voted for them in minecon because you know who wouldn't the cool uh, i've just been cancelled haven't i I like the glow text signs things and the glow item frames are probably my favorite things one of the favorite things in the 1.17 up there. I'm thinking of putting them in A, actually. Just the glow signs are probably my most favorite thing in the 1.17 update. So if someone wanted to make a server, they could make important signs stand out more with the glow signs. Uh, anyway, that's probably the end of the glow squid. There's nothing really else to say about it. The new ore textures. Um, let's see. Oh no, B. I it, this is this is probably the shortest one here. I don't like them, but I don't not like them. And it's it's I see what Mojang were trying to do, but they failed. Like you try Mojang, you tried and you failed. A bit like the 1.9 update. Some people like it, some people don't. I don't really like it, but it's all right. Definitely probably helps with colorblind people people or whatever they're trying to do. I don't know with the different textures so you can tell which ones are which better um moss i was not looking forward to this f it's moss there's, there's nothing to do with it it's not cool it goes an f to you anyway now let's see on that one we've got a, the snow bucket powdered but the powdered snow why did I say snow bucket? No idea. Powdered snow. I actually really like powdered snow. A tier. There is a lot to do with powdered snow. You can make traps for you can. So if you wanted to guard your house or whatever, you can make you can make traps with it, and you can. It just it's just a really cool the idea of powdered snow, where you can put it in buckets and things. It's pretty cool, and I I really like the sort of freezing death thing when you're in powdered snow that looks really cool in my opinion um now we've got raw ores um they've caused me one problem so i'm gonna put them in a tier or in b tier even 
they they sort of in silk touch i would i would only usually use silk touch on pickaxes so i could get the ores and then smelt them and get the xp but with 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 fortune now being appli applicable to ores i feel like that sort of negotiates the point of silk touch and it's it's but other than that i love them i love the, the everything about them basically spyglass s tier amazing the spyglass is just amazing it's especially cool if you use it with hub to find zoom you can see signs from light years away it's amazing no more needs to be said candles go and see tier for me they're a bit they look good but from what i've heard they're a bit expensive they are a bit expensive to make instead of just lanterns or torches but the my the, all of my friends may have been lying <laughs> i may have just been bamboozled but i would put them in c because they're not a very good light source in my opinion i don't know i don't like them depending on what type of house you're in so if you're using a wooden one you might want to use brown but uh, yeah that's that's all um i probably should have had more features in here because now I'll look at it there's only like 15 16 features but yeah that's it um if you do want to if you do want to adjust any of these you can make your own if you want and send me the links i'll have a hashtag in here you can hashtag your own videos if you want to and that's really all for me today um i'll see you all in the next video then uh should be out by like next week or something i don't know uh, goodbye.